prior to this PhD, I was working with various non-governmental organizations in Kenya and I was working in underprivileged communities in the slums of Nairobi and in northeastern Kenya. So throughout this whole experience, what I noticed was these underprivileged communities did not have access to quality education and in some areas, they, you know, they, it was even worse because they did not have access to quality education and the teachers had moved out because of insecurity. So I started thinking about what other alternative options are out there that could help complement their schooling experiences. My research is about an independent educational technology initiative that has been set up by a UK-based organization in Uganda. And I am looking at the impact it has had on, um, on local communities where it's been set up uh, in underprivileged communities. In 2016, I went and did my research in India uh, with Professor Sugata Mitra um, on the self-organized learning environment and the findings that I got from that uh, were really inspiring because uh, young people were using this initiative. It's very uh, similar to, to what I'm researching right now, uh, but he, he calls them the school in the cloud. So he, he got a grant from TED and he set up uh, this, uh, you know, open spaces, uh, uh, computers that are placed in, you know, glass buildings in different places. And the findings were really inspiring and how young people were using it. And this is how I got interested in it. What I hope to achieve is to make a contribution towards education in East Africa. And um, my findings, I'm hoping, will be able to help various organizations that are setting up initiatives within the same context and similar context to you know, consider the various contextual factors before setting up such initiatives.